So you're thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida. In this video, I'm going to explain Pompano Beach, Florida on a Google Maps, give you a lay of the land so you have a better understanding of the city itself. Let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Pompano Beach, Florida, then make sure to subscribe down below and tap on the bell for notifications so you're the first to know about the current real estate market in Pompano Beach, Florida. My name is Adela Philipson. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people all over the world looking to move to Pompano Beach, Florida and surrounding areas including Fort Lauderdale and we absolutely love it. Whether you're thinking about moving here in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, all the information is down below in the description. So we can help make your smooth move to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in this case, Pompano Beach, Florida. This is Pompano Beach on the Google Maps. This is the boundary of the actual city itself. Pompano Beach is the neighboring city just north of Fort Lauderdale. Taking a look at Pompano Beach, you do have a lot offered surrounding it. There is Boca just north of it, about 18 minutes or so. Since Pompano Beach is the northern uh, neighboring city next to Fort Lauderdale, you can always go to Fort Lauderdale or if you want, uh, Miami is just south. And if you haven't seen my Fort Lauderdale um, map explained or vlog tour, I do talk about how you can go to Naples just about an hour and a half. So you can still do that living in Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach tends to be more relaxed compared to Fort Lauderdale. It's a great coastal beach city but it does also offer that boat lifestyle as well as in case you like to fly planes, they do have an airport there. For entertainment, they do have Butterfly World just right here on the Northwest part. It's technically in Coconut Creek, but it's just on the edge. That is a fantastic place. I've been there with family and friends. It's beautiful just to be in an area with the butterflies flying around and seeing all the different types of butterflies. Um, they have an entire display of beautiful butterflies. So definitely check it out. They also have the Seminole Casino just north here. Again, this is in Coconut Creek, but it's not far from Pompano Beach. So this is US-1. It pretty much can take you to Boca or you can take the 95 freeway to either go north or south. This particular street here, that is Atlantic Boulevard that separates the north from the south. And if you happen to have a bow and you are in the intracoastal waterway, they do have convenient access to the Hillsborough Inlet. Now the Hillsborough Inlet kind of consists of three cities. It's Lighthouse Point, Hillsborough, as well as Pompano, but there's, it's kind of like here, kind of like this is Pompano Beach, this is Lighthouse Point, and then this is Hillsborough. So that is the most convenient access to get out to the Atlantic Ocean. Pompano Beach does have a lot to offer. In fact, they have a lot of different museums all within the same vicinity. So for example, you have the Educational Museum here located just on the west of the airport, the Pompano Beach Historical Society, that one's really nice to go. And again, this is Atlantic Boulevard, so it's a great location. They, what's really fun is this one. It's the Sample McDougall House Preservation Society. That one, you can spend hours. So much to do there. It's so amazing, you know, to go. Okay. If you happen to be on the other side of the 95 freeway, they do also have the Caribbean Museum. So it's very convenient if you are in Pompano Beach to go along Atlantic and, you know, jump around to all the different museums in Pompano. If you do like to golf, Pompano Beach has two within its city. 
there is this public golf course right here off of US one. They do have two 18 hole golf courses uh, near the airport there and the fees are just uh, $50 per person. The other one is Palm Air located right here off of the off of uh, power line road. For any families who are thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida, for elementary school, there are a few good public schools. For example, Florinata that does um, take children who live in Fort Lauderdale as well as Pompano Beach. So Florinata is still a great option. According to greatschools.org, they have a nine rating. There's also Palm View. Um, that one has an eight. And then Crest Haven has a seven. So that's for elementary that goes from kindergarten to fifth grade. So for middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, according to greatschools.org, the ratings do drop. Uh, unfortunately, about two or three out of 10 rating. And that does include Crystal Lake Middle School as well as Pompano Beach Middle School. Uh, some of the families do decide to go private. One of the uh, um, more popular ones, I would say, is St. Coleman. St. Coleman is just located right here off of US 1, right there, St. Coleman School. But the good news is for high school, the rating does go up. Pompano Beach High School right here, they do have a 10 out of 10, and that is public. If you still want to continue for um, private, there are some schools in the northern part of Fort Lauderdale. So, for example, Pinecrest School, Westminster Academy. I know uh, some children from Pompano will also go to Cardinal Gibbons High School just because it's not necessarily far from Pompano Beach. It's its neighboring city. So those are the private schools in the area for high school. So let's talk about some fun spots you can go out and enjoy with family and friends. A lot of the restaurants are located right here along Atlantic Boulevard. If I zero in here for you, there are two plazas that the city is going to be working on in the upcoming years. This whole general area they're going to be working on as well as here. If you haven't checked out my Pompano Beach vlog tour where I show you real footage of these areas, please check that out. You'll definitely enjoy. The city is going to be working on uh, bot botanical gardens right here. So that will be really nice. So when you're driving along Atlantic Boulevard, it's just going to be a huge wow factor. As of right now, there are some great restaurants. For example, the Foundry, huge hot spot. Cafe Brie, always filled with locals. It's wonderful to see people, you know, chit-chatting with friends, having coffee, great place. Flanagan Seafood, you can't go wrong. They have amazing food. Um, the Sushi Take Sushi, very popular amongst the locals. Um, and then right across the street here from the Foundry is Houston's. And again, that is in my Pompano Beach blog tour. You'll see uh, boats going along the Intracoastal Waterway and they do have outdoor seating. So it's great to have lunch and dinner and have a show, a view of the boats going by. If you are on a boat, um, Sands Harbor Resort and Marina is a great stop for food and drinks and hang out while you're cruising along the intercoastal waterways. The city did spend millions of dollars and you can even check on Google all about it, about building the actual pier. It is north here, but I just want to point out that if you are in Pompano Beach and you're driving along A1A this way, you're going to completely miss the pier and all the restaurants that are in this northern part. Uh, most people just turn, don't realize that aside from the pub and a couple places here, there's a wonderful park for families to enjoy in that area, as well as if you cruise on up here, new restaurants. Beach House, very popular. It's packed on the weekends, great hot spot, as well as Lucky Fish. It's sometimes hard to even get a table. Favorite spot is around the bar in the center. 
oceanic, very elegant, beautiful views of the beach. They also have Burger Fight across here and they're filling up the commercial spots, the retail shops here. So now there's like a surf shop and a chocolate shop, ice cream shop. So it's really, really wonderful, um, this entire area. So definitely check it out if you're in Pompano Beach. For major shopping, like big box stores, you will find a lot of that along US-1 in this area. So for example, you have Whole Foods here, Lowe's um, located here, but you also have a lot of um, diners, just general grocery stores. Um, there is a grocery store right here as well that's Publix. So everything and anything you need is located up and down US-1. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I hope this was helpful in explaining Pompano Beach on Google Maps and overall give you a lay of the land. If you are thinking about moving to Pompano Beach, Florida and the surrounding areas, including Fort Lauderdale, then make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All the information is down below in the description, as well as make sure to subscribe down to the channel and tap on the bell for notifications so you're the first to be notified about the current real estate market in Pompano Beach, Florida.